Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to be doing a quick overview of all the Purunga wishes for the JP side of Dokkan Battle. If you guys aren't familiar, there are special Purunga missions for the third anniversary on JP Dokkan. Uh, my screen set setup is a little bit different. I actually have my, um, my game on the right hand side and I have a big browser on the left. So we can actually talk about what's on the Reddit. Shout out to the Reddit. Shout out to Qualis on Z for the translations. Uh, so we can go over how to do it. First off, the, if you go over here to the post, it's going to be part of the daily Purunga missions. You can check that out. Um, they are available until March 6th, so you can do all of these right off the bat. So if you guys haven't done them yet on the JP side, you can do them now. They're very worth it. Um, I recommend personally doing the top three, Potential Orbs, Grand Kai's, and Incredible Gems. Um, I feel like the rest of it is easily grindable. Hercule statues for Zenny. Zenny's easily grindable. Awakening Metals are easy, easily grindable. Support items and training items are all very easily grindable. Incredible Gems are grindable, but you get such a hefty amount of them. It's, in my opinion, a better investment because I think you get 777 per wish and you get three wishes. Like three wishes per set and you have three sets. Um, so you can get a lot of those. You can get a lot of Grand Kai's, which are great for super attack increase, and then potential orbs, which is technically farmable, but they're limited farmable. So that's why I say the top three. I'm pretty sure all of you already know that. I just want to make sure I stated it in the video before we talk about it. Now, we can go ahead, we can skip the database entries, and we're going to talk about the actual interpretation and what's been confirmed. Now, we have over here, uh, Wish Set 1, all these have been confirmed. I already did Wish Set 1 and 2 myself. We're going to be doing 3 together. I already did the first part of it, Clear a Dokkan event. So, we're going to go ahead and um, do the rest of them together. But, Step 1, or Wish 1 on Set 1 is Train 1 Character. Switch the button on the home screen from Quest to Event 3 times. That's just going like this. If you look at my, my screen right now, just going like that. Um, the little the little refresh button, that will uh, allow you to get the, uh, the actual Purunga uh, thing. Uh, Kui on a team. Now, Kui is available on the team if you go ahead and get him on the friend summon. I don't know if I actually um, have him here right now. I forgot what he is. Uh, yeah, I do. I have him right there. So I brought him. This guy will um, be who you need. Just go ahead and summon for him. Uh, once you summon for him and you grab him, just throw him on any team and bleep beat any stage. You can do anything, even like training, training missions, anything like that. Just so that way you could beat a stage with him. It's very easy. Buy something with Baba points, very self-explanatory. Go into the Baba shop and buy something. Go to the gotcha screen and press the scouter. So that means go to the summoning screen over here. Once it comes up, then you go ahead and press the scouter on the right-hand side. Um, do a friend point summon, which is self-explanatory. Tap the banner that appears on the home screen, which is comes up with this image. So if you haven't done this already, it's the second last one as you see over here, where you see where the mouse pointer is on the screen. Go over here and navigate all the way until you see this. Once you see this, click on that. And it will bring it up, and you will be able to get the other, uh, uh, the actual uh, Dragon Ball from doing that. Uh, and then you will be able to do your first wish. And again, you get to uh, select three of these. Again, I still recommend the first three. These are the order that they come in. Um, and this is the complete uh, wish order per Koalasan. So again, number one, two, and three is what I recommend. Uh, second set um, is a little bit, a little bit more. I guess you could say it's more challenging. Uh, wish set number one, or well, sorry, uh, wish number one. Go to the character list screen and click on the number at the bottom. So um, for for wish one on set two, go over here to the character screen, and then you see over here, just click on this. Um, you see on my actual Dokkan screen, that's where I'm clicking at. So go ahead and click around there, and you'll be able to get the first one. Awaken a card that requires a core and awakening metal. Um, and you also have another one for Z Awaken, a character. So you just go ahead and do that to an agility character. So if you go over here and hit Awaken, just Awaken agility type character. And once you Awaken agility type character, um, you will get both Dragon Balls at once. Uh, another one is clear a stage with a mono team. That means mono type. So a, a full agility team, a full strength, a full tech, a full physical or full intelligence. That doesn't matter. You can do it on anyone that you want, anyone that you have. So go ahead and do that. Clear Hercules World Tournament and very self-explanatory. Make sure you go ahead and grab that. That's this guy over here for the Hercule statues. Um, go ahead, clear that, and you'll get another one. Uh, go to the Friend Search screen, menu bottom. So I'll show you over here just based off of what this is saying. So Friend Search screen, menu on the bottom left. That's this one over here where the Capsule Corp is, right? Um, friends, the most top button. That's where I have my notifications. Um, find Friend. It's the second button from the top. And then type in your ID. By the way, if you want to add me, I already have it up, so go ahead and add me. <laughs> um, I don't really play this too often, so my leads are... my. Le I do have 120 leads. They are going to always be set. But I just want to let you know I'm not that active on this game. But um, at least on the JP version. But, and then you go ahead and add yourself. The only thing is it doesn't give you confirmation. You don't get a, You don't get an animation. The Dragon Ball will be there, though. And then you can go ahead and make your next set of wishes. 
Now, we are over here on set three. This is what I'm doing. First one, clear a Doken event. I already did that one because I did that one beforehand. Now we need to Doken Awaken a card. Um, I don't know if I could actually Doken Awaken anything right now. Let's go ahead and take a look and see if I can Doken Awaken anything. Um, available. Do I have anything that could be, that's Doken Awakenable? Um, nothing maxed out. Maybe I do? Uh, can't Doken Awaken him. That stinks. Um, I might not be... <laughs> Oh, I can do this. Alright, cool. Do a, well, Jackie Chun, the thing that stinks about him is I didn't actually get him to Super Attack 10. Oh, I did. Perfect. This actually works out to my benefit. So let's go ahead and Doken Awaken Jackie Chun. And then I will get my next one. I just don't. I just can't get him up to Super Attack uh, 15 when I Doken Awaken him. I haven't done my strike characters on this uh, on this account, so <laughs> that is definitely why. So there we go. That's what you do. Just go ahead and Doken Awaken a character. We're going to get the last set of Perunga Wishes now with this. And as you see here, it just kind of froze up, went black. We got another Dragon Ball, yep, second Dragon Ball, and we got them. As you see, I did one and two, now we're going to go to number three, get ten in Incredible Gems. I'm probably not going to do that one on camera, because this video is going to take too long. Uh, so we had to do get ten Incredible Gems, you're going to do that by going to a quest stage. Um, once you go to the quest stage, go ahead and beat uh, beat anything that has gems. I guess you can just do it as much as you want, uh, part, go up until you get ten of them total. Clear Turtle School Training, which I haven't done, clear Potential Orb Stage. Unlock a node in the potential system, so actually I should... Can I do a reverse right now? If I can do a reverse, I will reverse my Kaioken Blue Goku. Because I have him, and we don't use this uh, too often. Perfect, we can. So I'm going to reverse him, I'm going to go ahead and do wish set number... Well, the, the second to last wish, so that way I can get him unlocked. The other... I, I don't want to do the gameplay with you guys, I feel like you guys are going to be bored if I do that. Um, here we go. And we got... We got Guru, so we can go unlock the potential for him. Do you guys notice that this happens a lot for you? That the freaking damn thing freezes up? Um, bottom right. And we're going to go ahead and unlock this guy. And now we freed up some space in the box as well when we did this. There we go, and that should be good. It's funny, we didn't get an animation, but I'm sure we got the Dragon Ball. Uh, we can go over here to, I guess, the, to the actual Dragon Ball side, and we can take a look and see what we got. Oh, what the heck? I didn't get him. Unlock a node in the potential system. I did that. Maybe I need to actually feed into it? Well, let's go ahead and take a look. Let's see if we can um, feed into it all the way to there. That should be quick. Maybe that's what that means. I have a whole bunch of orbs, so it doesn't matter. I'm not really wasting any either because I do use him. There we go. So you, not only do you have to unlock you actually have to feed the potential orbs in it. So you, you guys actually probably don't even need to unlock it. You probably just need to um, get the potential uh, orbs into it in order for it to uh, for you to get the Dragon Ball. So if you ever uh, if you already have one open on a character, but you didn't fill in the actual potential system path, just go ahead and do that, and you'll get that. Uh, and then the last one has been confirmed. Uh, rotate the character wheel on the home screen seven times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Maybe I have to do a whole bunch? I don't know. Just keep on doing it until the Perunga shows up, I guess. <laughs> um, Alright, cool. So the next three, the last three that I have to do is just grinding. Um, one of them is grinding the quest, the other is turtle school training, and the other is clear a potential, um, a potential system, the potential orb system event. So, um, so once you do that, you'll be able to get the uh, actual Perunga um, last set of Dragon Balls or Dragon Ball Wishes. And you will be able to get anything that you want from what is currently available. But anyway, guys, I just want to make sure you are all aware of that. I know it's a thing. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff I, was, I really do want to go over with you. Unfortunately, I won't be able to get that video out to you today. Um, but I will be doing a review of the global side banner that is currently available on top of the cars and their best linking buddies. Not specific team building with them, just better mostly linking buddies because there's not really any good leaders there. Um, plus, you know, it's kind of repetitive doing the same exact teams because I already gave you guys... Um, everything that I possibly could, uh, in terms of teams for mono agility, mono, um, like, well, mono agility, mono type and category leads. So I feel like doing it with individual, uh, A tier units that come out or even B tier units that come out is kind of pointless. So I just tell you about what their best linking buddies are. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new and I'll catch you all later. Peace.